Hello world, Noah here. Welcome to the next episode of Django by Example. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to store images in our database, and we're actually going to uh, enable us to add an image to each of the entries in our database. So as you know, our database contains uh, information uh, about various programming related things, be them programming languages or IDEs or perhaps even people, so on and so forth. But we want to spice up our website a little bit, so why don't we include an image with each of our entries? I have on my desktop an image of the Java logo, and I want to include that on the page about Java. So I'm going to show you how the best way is to deal with uh, storing these images in your database. Now, since we just learned about static files in the last episode, you might be inclined to include all these images in your static directory and then load them later, but there is actually a better way to do it, and that's exactly what we're going to take a look at right now. Go ahead and open models.py because we're going to add a new field to our item uh, model. We want to add a new field which we'll call image, and we're going to use models.image field. This is, in fact, built in. Uh, and it's actually a pretty pretty simple. It's just an extension of file field, but it's made for images. So essentially the idea is um, you can upload an image and it will uh, you know basically store a reference to that image in the database. That's all that it takes to actually declare an image field. Um, so let's just make migrations and migrate, and then we can go to the Django admin and actually take a look at uh, what it says. So I'm going to go ahead and run a manage.py task. We first need to say make migrations. And actually, as a matter of fact, this is going to tell us that we need a default value for the image. Um, so let's just actually set blank equals true and null equals true. And what that means is that you don't actually need to specify an image. Because maybe we don't want images for some of our items. Some of them we just want to leave blank. Um, so by using blank equals true and null equals, equals true, we can make it optional to include an image. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and do make migrations. And um, it shouldn't give us an issue about that. But it gives us a different issue because we don't have Pillow installed. Now, Pillow is a library in Django that deals with uh, managing images, you know, resizing them and doing other operations with them. So we do, in fact, need to have this installed on our server. Now, just to check really quickly, um, we are using uh, 3.6 right here. So we need to install Pillow. Uh, so I'll show you the easy way to do that from within PyCharm. Uh, basically, you'll want to do what I just did, which is open the preferences for PyCharm, which is right here. You'll want to expand Project and then go to Project Interpreter. And you should see uh, you know, whichever version of Python you're using, whichever interpreter you're using up there. And we just need to install Pillow. So the easiest way is to hit that plus button, type in Pillow, and we, of course, want that first result. Just hit Install Package. Now we just have to wait uh, for a little bit. It might ask for a password. Um, but it's basically just going to download um, Pillow and install it, and it just finished. OK, so now we can hit OK. And the server, or the uh, PyCharm is just going to quickly scan for everything. And now we have Pillow installed. So we can actually do this on our local uh, test computer. Now, when you actually deploy this to a server, you'll need to make sure that Pillow is installed on there, uh, but we'll talk about that when we actually go about doing that. If I run Make Migrations again, you'll notice uh, that it actually works this time because we do, in fact, have Pillow. And we just need to call Migrate, and there we go. So, uh, now that we have this available, um, we can start up the website. And we'll go to our website, and we'll go to the admin page here. If I go to items, and we'll pick the Java item, you'll notice that there is now a new field called image. And it gives me, whoops, it gives me the ability to uh, choose a file. So I'll go ahead and uh, pull up the Java file. So let's just go to desktop, and I'm going to drag that right there. 
So it's now loading java.png. You can, of course, hit choose file and actually go find it, but you know, I just did that. And you'll go ahead and hit save. So it now tells you that the item Java was changed successfully. Okay, uh, so that is all good to go. Let's talk about how to actually use uh, this image. So what we'll do is we want to do, when we go to the page, you know, for Java, for example, we want to include the image at the bottom. So um, let's go to uh, the item page. And right here, after the description, we want to say if item.image is not none. Because remember, we said that the image could be optional. Um, so we want to do that. And if the item image is not none, we can say img, and we need to give it the source, and the source is going to be item.image.url. So item.image gives us a reference to the image, and then URL is a property within, um, uh, within item.image that will actually give us the correct URL for that image. So if I refresh this page, you'll notice that it doesn't actually work. And if we go and run inspect element for a second and we look at the body, you'll see it says img src equals java.png. And that's no good. That's not within like a static directory or anything like that. And if you didn't notice before, it actually created a file called java.png right here that does indeed have uh, the Java logo. So it did actually store um, java.png when we uploaded it to the admin but unfortunately it's stored it at the root of our project where it's not accessible. So in the next video we're going to talk about how to control where all of these uploaded files go and uh, that will then be able to fix this issue and make it work. So as always subscribe if you want to see more, click this video, click the like button, and continue on to the next video so that we can actually make this work. But thanks for watching.